you guys? My name is Sakina Marie and welcome back to the channel. Ah, Y'all, it is 2020. Start of a brand new year. I know we're already in February. That's okay. There's never a perfect time to start saving money. So you guys, I went online. I was searching. Hmm. What kind of challenge can we do that's going to help people who... That's going to help people who don't really have a lot of money to save. So I came across this video. This challenge is called the $5 challenge. Only $5, sis. All you have to do, literally every single time you get $5, whether it's ones, it's fives. If you want to go above five, you sure can. But anytime you get $5, sis, go ahead and get your little jar. I'm going to have my little, um, my little water jug. And the reason why I want to use a water jug is because when you put the money in, it's not easy to get it out. So <laughs> you're going to go ahead and get you any type of jug. It doesn't have to be this specific type of jug. But get any type of, you know, water bottle, just anything. You can get a box if you want. I don't like to do the shoe boxes because, I mean, when you need the money, all you've got to do is go open the box, get the $5 out. And bam, that's it. But this is going to take a struggle for you to actually dig in there. You got to, like, cut it out. And then, by the point you're like, dang, let me find some scissors, you're going to be like, it ain't even that deep. Whatever I'm trying to buy, I don't need it, obviously. So go ahead and get you a little jar, little jug, little water jug. Put your, boop, little $5 in there every time, sis. We're going to check in in about six months. And after six months, we're going to see how much money we saved. If you want to save, you can save for anything. I want to personally say because ugh, I put it on my vision board, y'all, I'm going to New York at the end of this year, period. I've been already one time last year with my boyfriend, but this time I want to go for, for Christmas slash New Year's. I want to be there when the ball drops. So my goal, my savings goal is to save as much money as possible to help save for New York because New York is not cheap, okay? So sis, go ahead, find your little money. For the sake of this video, I got a dollar. I don't have five dollars on me. I literally just went to the bank. That's okay. But I got a little dollar. We're going to go ahead and start this challenge off, okay? So you got that in there, and then if you try to get it out, I mean, of course you can stick your finger in there, but it's like, it's just doing too much, you know? The challenge is super easy. It's super simple. You don't have to do much. Literally, every time you're like, oh, I want to go to... Starbucks and get a coffee or oh I want to go to McDonald's and get a little burger or I want to go wherever it don't matter just be like nope I can cook at home I'm trying to save money all 2020 I'm trying to be as effective and efficient as possible with saving my money and not spending it on not on unnecessary things just take that money go ahead put it in your jar boop and I promise this I promise by the end of the year <laughs> You gonna have money, and it's. I mean, if you want, if you're really like, oh, you know what, Sakina, I don't even have five dollars to come across. I literally live paycheck to paycheck. If you live paycheck to paycheck, you should still have money. You should still have spending money. If you want to be the most effective budgeter possible no matter what you still need to have a spending budget because you're always gonna have to either buy toiletries or you're always gonna have to you know buy groceries gas if you have a car so you're always gonna have that type of money so at the end of the month if you're like well i got a couple dollars left over for my cash envelopes go ahead and put it in your um Go ahead and put it in your jar. No, you're not going to save as much money as you would if you did $5 every week or, you know, $5 so often. But it'll still be something. It'll still be more than what you would have saved if you didn't save anything at all. So anything you have, sis, if it's a dollar, if it's $2, it does not matter, honey. Go ahead and put it in that jar and let's save this money all 2020, y'all. If you want to go ahead and accept this challenge, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel. Until next time, bye guys.